Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I wanted to get back on here tonight. Um, I wanted to show you a few things. Uh, last weekend I went shopping. I went to Michael's and I bought a little more yarn and I had to buy a new shelf. I haven't put it together yet because I have too much yarn. I can't help it. But anyways, I before I show you all that, I want to show you something I'm very proud of. Something I, um, first off, before I go any further, I want to apologize. I did not put a video on last week because I was lazy. I was sitting on the couch crocheting. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to make a, a video. I just, I was being lazy and I uh, had to have a YouTube friend kick me in the butt and get me off the couch and get me on making videos. She told me she missed me, so it made me feel good. So anyhow, um, but anyways, what I was doing on the couch, I was creating something. It's something that um, I learned a little bit of this and a little bit of that from different um, designers, creators um, on YouTube. Um, everybody on YouTube has taught me to crochet. So um, a little bit of all that knowledge, um, I came up with a, a top. Um, it was really easy. A lot of my inspiration I got from a pattern I bought and paid for by uh, Dana with C Triple C. It was um, a top she made, and I made um, I made one in pink. I showed it on here, but kind of her idea inspired me, and I had some inspiration from some other designers, and uh, I came up with this. So I want to give credit to everybody because um, a, a lot of it. Um, you know, I was taught on YouTube, and um, if anybody wants me to share this, maybe I'll um, create a pattern. I don't, I don't know, or write it down. Uh, but I need an expert to teach me how to do that because I, I can barely video that giveaway. I was so stressed out. My room is a mess. I've torn my whole room apart. <laughs> I don't know. I can, I, I can come into a clean room and drop some bags of yarn and just I don't know I start creating I start pulling stuff out and you know of course the color I want is in the back so everything's like falling out but anyhow let me show you this top I'm very proud of um, and I don't have the yarn here with me the yarn being I have a dog that eats paper one of my labs he's got he's like, I think they call that pica he eats things that he shouldn't be eating, but anyways, he ate the ball band. But this is a Bernay yarn. I wanna show you the yarn. It's, I showed you guys in my yarn haul. But anyways, I loved working with this yarn, but um, it's a number four Bernay, and I can't remember the name of it. I'll put, I'll put it down in the description below. Um, once I figure out the name of it, but I bought it in gray too. But anyways, um, what I did with this top is I did like a triple double um, windows, but um, on the second row I did a double crochet, but um, I did a stitch in a stitch that I've never seen anybody do before, but it was kind of a fudget to, to make it work, and I created you know, it doesn't have a seam. I, I created to to here, and then I created, I did a chain all the way across to do the other side, and I created the same thing on the back until I got to the sleeve, and then I crocheted, slip, sti slip stitched the sleeve, and then I double crocheted all the way around, and then came back and came back around and just went back and forth around until I got to the bottom, to the length that I wanted, and I did the top stitch at the bottom. I did a couple rows, but um, now I, here just below the breast, I did use a smaller hook to bring the top in. It tapered it. I used it a whole um, hook size. I went down, this was a six. I went down to a number five and then six at the bottom. I just, about this much, I did a six. And it kind of came in a little bit, and I learned that from Krista at the Secret Yarnery. So I learned a little bit from everybody on what I did on this top. But anyways, I'm very proud of it. And and that's why I didn't video, didn't do a video last weekend, because um, I was being lazy crocheting. My, um, I had to just, 
I had a creative moment. So anyways, but anyways, and it turned out really pretty. The only bad thing about this yarn, constant, um, I spent more time untangling this yarn. Um, if you buy this yarn, I'm gonna put the name in there because you guys need to be aware. You can't pull from the center, it keeps knotting up in the center. So I had to do it on the outside and then it was knotting up still. So then I had to put it on the ball winder and wind it up and it still got knotty. It just, and then I finally, the last bit of it, I just wound it up in a ball, but I've got a big wad of, what do you guys call it, yarn barf? Yeah, I, I, I just got so fed up, I just got another, another um, skein of yarn so yeah so you got to be really careful because it just it's just weird it's just in the skein i mean it doesn't tangle up on itself outside the skein it's just really strange I, um, i've never had that kind of experience with a yarn that wasn't a tangly yarn but it i don't know i think it's the way it was wound up in the skein probably but anyways this is my work of art i'm so proud of it and um I just wanted to share that with you guys and then I bought some yarn online I don't know where I got it from but it came in the mail I forgot where it came from I'm really bad about un you know I unbox stuff um, before I get on the air I don't know my computer just kicked on I don't know I don't know stop okay anyway, I bought some this isn't new yarn it's been around a long time but I never they were always out of the colors whenever um, I got around to buying it it's coffee shop I've made a hat out of a different color but I bought this color it's a light three um, it's like 200 284 yards in the color way is sundown but I bought six of these and then the other color that I always wanted this color isn't that pretty look at those colors in there and um, same 284 yards and it's um, 85% acrylic and 100 it's 15% wool and um, yeah the colorway Grand Canyon but I love that blue in there and that it's got golds and all kinds of colors really pretty I got six of those and I also, you know, the cardigan I, um, I did that crochet um, calendar challenge with Dina Homespun. And I made that cardigan out of the, whoops, the white in that cardigan was this yarn, uh, Baby Rainbow. It's like really soft and it's, I forgot what's in it. There's 503 yards. And I love working with this stuff. It's white, of course. I'm trying to find what's in it. Medium number four. I used a uh, six millimeter crochet hook. And it doesn't say what it is. Yeah, that can't be right. It doesn't say what it is. I'm serious. Y'all, I don't know what it's made of. It's almost like butter. That like butter, it's probably got polyester in it. But anyways, I got white. I got three of the white, because I loved it. I loved working with it. And um, Dallas, my, um, She's my housekeeper slash she's my everything friend. <laughs> Anyways, I gave her the cardigan that I made. She loves it. She's wearing it with blue jeans and it looks really good on her. So I'm glad somebody took it home and loves it. So anyways, I bought three more white. I bought all the colors um, that they had. I bought this lavender. And then I bought some more of the, no, I didn't have this color, light aqua, more like a mint color, pastel. And I bought some gray, because everything goes with gray. My walls are gray. 
but um, it's called light gray. So I got two of those. As I'm tearing my room apart. And I got this color. This is my Grinch color. It is, they're calling it Lime Light. But I got two of those. And I thought this and this. And then I got, oh, I got it on my shelf. I got two of these. And this is the uh, bright pink. I thought these would look good together in something. I don't know. I don't know, maybe a baby blanket? Baby Cardi? I don't know. But it's so soft. I love this yarn. But anyways, I bought a bunch of it. It was on sale for $6.99. And then, for, wherever I bought this coffee shop from, I bought this other yarn. I don't know if it was Hershner. No, I've got a Hershner's order that's coming. So it's not my Hershner's. Where did I get this yarn? You know where I got the idea of this yarn was probably... It's either um, Jennifer with Cinnamon Stitches or Bag of Day. But anyways, this is um, Sundance Sweet, medium for 100% acrylic, 164 yards. It was on sale. Look at this yarn inspirations. I'm not sure. I don't like it when I can't remember where I buy yarn from. Anyways, I got two, four, six, eight. I got like ten of them. I didn't realize I bought so many. But, uh, yeah. This is the stuff I like on my shelf and just like to look at it. Because it's so pretty. I have some Plymouth yarn in that color. And I, I won't use it because I love looking at it. So, anyways, I got that put up. And then... <clears throat> Nothing really new, but I want to show you what I got. Of course, I bought. They had Mandela for three, three nine, no two ninety nine, but it wasn't. They weren't like specific. Like there was some Mandela to the left, and there was Mandela below right there at Joanne's. And I love this stuff, you guys. And I just stock up on it. But anyways, I asked him. I said, I got, I picked up all this mandala, and I'm like, it wasn't specific, you know, what what mandala is on sale, all of it. But anyways, I said I'll put back what's not on sale, and the girl goes, no, I'll honor the price. So I got all this stuff for two ninety nine. I got. Um, there's four hundred twenty six yards, and this color is knock on wood. I love this color and I got let's see probably two or three maybe four <laughs> let's see knock on wood so that's one two oh I just love destroying my room three three yeah I, don't, I think I only got three and then I've never seen this I this color in sparkle it's um hercules i mean i've got a lot of sparkle yarn but i don't recall this color but it's really soft i got like four or five of these i've got them i've got them put up with all the cotton yarn that i got from joann's i got some more of that too um i'm sorry i didn't show you guys everything i just feel like I've showed this stuff already, so I don't want to bore you guys. But um, then the other mandala, I got the white elephant, the other color that I love. And then they got the red and gray one. Um, I didn't get any of that this time. But um, I, got, I got like three of those. And then I bought this, this comfy cotton blend. This stuff has been around forever. I didn't read the specs on this, did I? Mandela Tweed Stripes. Um, I think it's 100% acrylic. It is 100% acrylic. 426 yards, yeah. Number four. And I have new contacts in, but this writing's so small, I can't read it. Mm, not unless I had like a really bright light on, so I apologize. 
I'm always going to be visually challenged. And I did get new glasses, but I got to take them back. There's some issues. I'm seeing colors. Like, I don't know. They, it's a new kind of lens. And he said, oh, I guess that lens doesn't work for you. All I wanted was the light lens because I do. My lenses are like Coke bottles if I don't order the thin lens. And then my eyes kind of like, um, what do you call it? Um, they get bigger. What is the word I'm looking for? Oh my God. I get on here and I, I lose my mind. And magnify. They magnify. Jeez. Anyways. Okay. But anyways, this comfy cotton blend. I've never had this color. And I, I have most of the colors of this brand, but I, I've never... I've never had this color and I liked all the colors in it and I think I got I got three of them 392 yards it's a number three um, seven ounces 200 grams 358 millimeters 50 percent cotton 50 percent polyester and it is soft and I do like this yarn what decade will I use it I don't know but I got three of them. It's got a home now for someone to love it. And then I've been buying this yarn. I really like it. It is Red Heart uh, Soft Essentials. I got like a taupe color. I've got like a teal color. And I got some more teal color. But anyways, um, it's always in a sale um, bin in Joann's, and I pick up a few skeins here and there. It's really soft. It's a number, probably a number five. Yeah, it is a number five, and um, it's 100% acrylic. I guess you can wash it. Do not iron. Do not bleach it. Machine wash and dry. And... Um, it's called Misty Rose, but I felt that was really pretty, pretty pink to go with the rest of my collection of pink. But I bought four. I got four of them. And, and then I bought some more in this color. This is the turquoise color, but it's got a little bit of a shine to it and it's really soft and it's the same as the pink the specs are the same it's just this color's turquoise and I bought four more Ooh, I'm dropping yarn no oh, wait dropping yarn I got four and then what a mess <laughs> I did buy, I went to Hobby Lobby, and I picked up a couple bags. I bought um, yarn bags, and I bought this project bag for a possible giveaway in the future. And then, oh... Um, Oh, I got I got some happy mail today and I opened it I'm sorry I can't, I can't wait from Pamela adoring crochet hold on okay here it is <laughs> You guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. This is a new, new thing. I got her thumb drive of all her baby doll clothes. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to plug it in. I do have printers at my office. I have good computers at work and printers. Oh, well, actually, my, com my desktop is new. Um, I bought it from my IT guy, but... Um, I don't have a very good printer here. I had one and I gave it to one of my children. He needed it. And I'm just, I spoil my kids, but anyways. 
I've got the dog clothes. Pamela Adore Crochet, her dog clothes. And if you guys are interested, go go to Adoring Adoring Dog Clothes. Just go to Pamela's um, YouTube channel, and this link is in all her videos in the, um, the subscription. And I'll link it down below in the video. But anyways, thank you, Pamela. I love you. I really appreciate this. And she did write me a nice card, and I'm gonna, whoops, whoops. She just thanks me for supporting her channel. And uh, she's sharing her patterns with me. And I got another sticker for my other cart. I've got one of her stickers on my purple cart. Now I can put this on my teal cart, because I shared my, um, they're not calling it a cart, what are they calling it? can't think tonight. What is wrong with me? <sighs> I think it was all the stress of that giveaway. I was so so worried I wasn't going to get that video out. I, I, I got it out two hours later, and I'm so sorry about that to everybody. But anyways, I'm going to cherish this. I got two thumb drives, y'all. I got one from Bag of Day and one from Pamela Adoring Crochet. So This is awesome. Because I, I'm enjoying reading patterns and I'm getting better and better. The more I read, the better I get. And then maybe I can write my own pattern one day now that I know what I'm reading. <laughs> Other than just a video. And um, I did pick up some more stuff at Hobby Lobby. Um, not much. I picked up some shirts. Some more shirts. Because most of the stuff that I'm going to be... Um, I got this shirt for like $3. They're... $3.99 and they're normally $15.99. Of course, I would never buy it unless it was on sale. I wouldn't pay $15. But these shirts are nice because I've this shirt here, I've got three of them already. Um, the first one I ruined in the dryer. So you can't you can over dry it and then this stuff like curls up. So I would recommend that you just hang it up. I mean, or you could fluff it in the dryer, but do it on a low heat. And um, this one probably not so bad it's not you know it's a little bit different it probably I wouldn't dry any of them on a high heat I would definitely use a low heat but I have like three or four of those shirts and I did get some more cotton yarn let's see share it with you guys again oh. well I mean not a I I just got this last weekend, this color, at Joe, no, Michael's, yeah, Michael's, I get those stores mixed up, but, um, this is a number three, this is the color Copper Rose, I know you guys have seen a lot of it, it's the Cotton Ripple Cakes, um, Karen Cakes, but I love this color, I got two of those, and, what color did I get to go with it? I think I got the solid and it's somewhere deep in my shelf. And then I bought another one of these. This is the, um, I just love the look of that. But you know what? I have been trying to work with it and everything I've attempted to make with it, I've frogged. So I am going to attempt to do Tunisian um, a, a Tunisian purse with the uh, with this yarn so wish me luck and I'm so far behind on my socks and the beast I put down because I got a little frustrated I don't know I got bored <laughs> that's when I decided to make the shirt but I'm sure some of you can relate because I think a lot of us are a lot alike you know that's why we hoard yarn it's like oh what can I can I try to make today but um, this is the other um, cotton angel cakes it's what color is that it's called Heather it's called Heather kind of a purplish pink kind of a mauvey color but um yeah I said I wasn't gonna buy a bunch of cotton and I did a marl to go with that um, 
Oh no, oh no, we're gonna have an avalanche. See, the two kind of go together, but it's kind of got the marl color. And this is the angel cake. And it is soft summer stripes. I think I paid $6.99 for it. It's called Coral Rose. It's a number four. And, um, I don't remember what I was looking for. I think I got everything. Oh, it's got 530 yards. It's a lot of yardage. But anyways, I got two of those to go with this. And I think I got two of these too. And then I got another one of these. They're just so pretty, just to look at. I know that's crazy, but they're beautiful. So anyways, and they're soft, they're soft. So, but anyways. I have fun. I'm having fun. That's all that matters, right? That's what you need to do is make the best of what you have. You know, I haven't always been able to buy yarn. Um, I've been been homeless, so I, I haven't had the perfect life. I had to work my butt off and dig out of a hole. So, um, and I, I want to share and give back. I want to give... I mean, I'm I, I'm very grateful for what I have. I, uh, I I'm not wealthy, but I have a business that makes that makes good money. But I have a lot of employees. I um, I take care of my employees, my friends, my family, and uh, you know, and I, I live kind of a simple life. And uh, but yarn is a new addiction. But I'm. I'm not going to go down that road anymore. But anyways, I'm having fun enjoying life. And that's what everybody should do. I'm, I've, I've learned from the school of hard knocks. And we just, we need to just count our blessings and just make the best of every day um, that we can. Even though it may not be a great day, just make the best of it. Um, that's all I could advise anybody. Um, so I've been down that road. And I'm not, I'm, I'm going to live, I've lived half of my life and I'm going to live the rest of it very happy and um and i've removed any negative people in my life anybody that's toxic they're not worth it family or not you know if, if somebody's bringing you down you, you know you're better off alone you know you got to remove the toxic people in your life if you have anybody toxic so but anyways on a better note let's go see what other yarn i got the green the sage I think I already bought this but um, I thought it would go good with this and then I also got the blue oh where is it I made a mess this is a little different this is the uh, ripple solid so that could go with that too so but I love sage a sage green but I thought that was beautiful too but, um, I think I've covered everything for one night um, again I want to thank everybody um, who participated in that giveaway and um, I want to do another giveaway I want to do a giveaway to the people that watch my videos and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put together like shirt, a yarn bag, oh, oh. I'm going to throw some yarn in there, but um, I don't have it out here, but um, a pom-pom maker, this is a project book, I got a bag here, um, for your hooks, a bag that matches, also got a holster, scissors that match. These are nice scissors, but anyways, this is a giveaway, okay? And let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a short giveaway. Um, we're gonna end this giveaway on, what's today? Today's Tuesday? Um, how about Sunday? So I'll give you guys a little bit of time. Um, yeah, let's, let's, um, Sunday is, 
what is today? That calendar. Hold on. Something's wrong with this calendar. Somebody ripped out my pages. Oh, wait. June. April. Today is the, the 20th, so... Let's do it like Sunday evening, the 25th. I'll do a drawing. And um, all you have to do is just comment. Um, and uh, this is just just to, to thank everybody for being so supportive. And um, I love you guys. And I want to share happiness, my happiness with you guys. So, And I'm going to throw some yarn in there. And it'll be some of these cotton cakes. I'm not sure which ones. I'm a little attached, so I'm going to have to struggle and pick out a few for you guys. So, anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Thumbs up. Okay, and this is, um, this is going to be, if it, I can make it worldwide, but if it's out of the States, I'm going to do a gift card. Um, and, uh, if it's out of the States, do you guys have to answer a question? Do you love, do you love my channel? You know, some, you know, I, I just, I really don't care what you guys comment down below. Um, I'm just glad you guys are here to hang out with me because I'm really enjoying this. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. And um, just, I wanna thank everybody. Pamela, thank you for my drive. And I wanna thank everybody else. And thank you for getting me off the couch, Pamela. She texted me this morning. I needed that. But anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. Good night, everybody. I love you. Mwah.